Hey guys, Andrew here with Contagiously Unintelligent Productions. I found myself in Las Vegas with Tim Chismar. How are you doing, Tim? Hey, I'm all right, brother. We're here at Photo Bang Bang, a local studio here in Vegas. Um, this is one of the sets. As you can see, it's very eccentric and it's got some, a lot of character and a lot of toys to play with. <laughs> so, uh, what do we have here, Tim? Uh, well, um, one of my very first collections of short stories just came out with a second edition. So, um, it's Modern Madness, Gateway to the Grotesque, second edition. We added my interview with Clive Barker from the Bram Stoker award-winning book collection. Um, I always forget the name of it. It's from Crystal Lake Press. It came out a few years ago. But anyway, you don't need that book. It's in here. <laughs> But uh, this has short stories from a lot of different um, other horror collections over the years. It also has a novelization of a screenplay that I wrote for uh, a horror movie, Nate the Alien Massacre. I got a Fangoria article that's in here that was never published because uh, Fangoria went bankrupt. Uh, anyway, there was a transition and it was one of the lost episodes. So it's, it's an issue that was online only and never came out in print and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's all in here. So, uh, it's great, but don't take my word for it, or Andrew's word for it, that guy. Uh, there's some wonderful blurbs. The uh, creator of the Puppet Master series and Full Moon Entertainment, Charles Band, said, and I quote, Tim Chismar is batshit crazy and brilliant in the same breath. Long may he rage. Uh, Clive Barker, Master of Horror from, you know, Hellraiser, Lord of Illusions, Nightbreed, Candyman, should I continue? He said, Tim Chismar reaches past the conventions of the commonplace and holds nothing back. Is that enough? No, I got one more I'm going to read to you from Joel M. Reed, who passed away recently, which is sad, but he was the writer and director of the cult classic Bloodsucking Freaks, which I love to death. He said, I still have visions of Tim Chismar's work and creations. They have driven all the freaks out of my life. I mean, that's just adorable. So this is his uh, second edition of The Modern Madness. Um, you can find them. Where can you find them? Everywhere. Anywhere fine books are sold. Hardback, softback, ebook, audiobook. And there's a sequel uh, called uh, The Screaming Virgins. It's uh, Modern Madness 2, The Screaming Virgins. And I introduce a lot of other authors who hadn't had their stuff published in collections yet. And so I kept the train a rolling. I got lots of other books and stuff. I do things. Um, I, you've got Modern Madness, Modern Madness 2. Um, uh, you're inside of one of the Chicken Soup for Souls. Yes, I can actually read you off because it says uh, I, I listed it in my book for the readers, but also for myself so I don't forget. <laughs> also by Tim Chismar, Modern Madness 2, The Screaming Virgins, Soul Trader. My work is also featured in 18 Wheels of Horror, Hell Comes to Hollywood 2, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Random Acts of Kindness, Halloween Tales, A Valley of Light and Shadow, Las Vegas Writers on Good and Evil, and It's Alive, Bringing Your Nightmares to Life. Which was the book that had the Clive Barker interview that won a Bram Stoker Award. Good times. You mentioned that you helped other writers get into the book to get their stuff published. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you do to help um, like build other creators up? Like, Well, everybody else is so busy tearing them down. Somebody should try to build them up a little bit. Um, I have various imprints to my publishing house. I have Club Serenity books. I have... Every man, I have Wild West books, I have Spooky Ninja Kitty, and uh, I will work with authors or aspiring authors and try to encourage them to get out there and get their stuff going, um, publicity-wise, marketing-wise, blurbs, in-store signings, all this kind of stuff. And when it comes to horror, I want to reach out and help some people who hadn't had the exposure and their eyes on their work, and it's great because it's paper, it's hard, it's ebook, it's audiobook. And it's all out there, and we got to start somewhere. So, so down in the description, I will post some links for Tim Chismar's pages, how to find him, his books, as well as publishing companies that he's working with, as well as a couple other little tricks of the trade down below. So be sure to like, subscribe, and all that such. Yeah, you know, uh, if you have a passion, you know, tomorrow isn't guaranteed. You know, now's the time. We're in the present. Be mindful that if this is what you want to do, do it. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't. From the lips of Tim Chismar himself, just do it. We ain't gonna live forever. This is Andrew Brown, Contagious Young Intelligent Productions, signing off.